How to Make a Video in ClipChamp In this tutorial we are going to be creating a video based on Namer Jr. in ClipChamp. ClipChamp is a free video editor that is in built in Windows 11. It isn't the best video editor out there but it has a few pros here and there. One of the pros is that it is free and beginner friendly, hence anyone, whether a beginner or a pro can use it without relying on tutorials. One of the cons is that it doesn't offer a wide range of tools such as keyframes and blending options to create various effects. With that said and done, let's start the tutorial. First start by opening the ClipChamp video editor and create a new project. Let's import the namer comps and music that we are going to use in this tutorial. First start by adding the audio and play it a couple of times so as to understand the mood of the song and the beat flow. Once you fully understand the beat flow, you can cut the audio at the places where you would want to place your clips as shown. This may take quite some time, but it's very helpful as it will ease up the synchronizing process of your video. If you would like to see another tutorial, feel free to submit your suggestions in the comments section down below. Once you are done, you can start adding and arranging the clips accordingly to the cuts made on the audio. One of the disadvantages of ClipChamp is that it doesn't give you an option of adding inputs and outputs on the video preview. If you would like to see another tutorial, feel free to submit your suggestions in the comments section down below. Once you are done arranging the clips, you can preview it to make sure everything matches well. I know you're gonna miss I know you're doing anything to live my life fast Switch 
After that, you may make a few adjustments such as the fading effect and the transform effect to your clips. Let's enhance the video by also adding some color adjustments to each of the clips. If you would like to see another tutorial, feel free to submit your suggestions in the comments section down below. These adjustments are very important as they help in preventing copyright claims. That's the reason why so many sports video highlights tend to be zoomed in and have a little bit of exposure. Once you are done, preview your video once again to ensure that every clip is well adjusted. Let's add the logo to represent the editor. Let's try adding some text to enhance the video a bit. At this point you are free to experiment with the features offered by the clip chain. If you would like to see another tutorial, feel free to submit your suggestions in the comments section down below. You can add transitions, texts and graphics that they offer in their panels but for this tutorial, I won't do that. Once you feel that the video is good and is ready to be exported, just click the export button. In Clipchamp, the exporting process doesn't take a lot of time, as it isn't very dependent on your graphics card. The name or video is public, hence you can watch it freely at your own time. I will leave a link in the description and also place it in the cards section so as to be easily accessible. If you made it this far in the tutorial, I would like to say thank you for watching. If you would like to see another tutorial, feel free to submit your suggestions in the comments section down below.